Hello, it's Jason Payne of Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Today, I got a really special treat for you. We're coming to you from uh, Cordillera Ranch in Bernie, Texas. And I videoed this house during the build process, but I'm excited to bring it to you as completion. This is a luxury home built by Casa Domain, and I love them as a builder. They build amazing luxury homes. If you see behind me there, we got Mr. Ryder Rodriguez. He is the sales consultant. You can find him at Bell Oaks. He's a lot more than a sales consultant. He does a lot of extra work with Casa Domain. So definitely, if you're curious about looking for custom home builders, check out Casa Domain and definitely talk to Ryder. Everyone that I have know that's met him has loved him. And uh, I appreciate him giving this opportunity to this video. I'm gonna put his contact information up there. And if you uh, like these videos and you're looking for a real estate agent, one thing I love very much is when viewers turn into clients. So I'll go ahead and put my contact information up there. So if you know somebody that's looking for a real estate agent in Texas Hill Country, feel free to reach out to me. All right, let's go start the tour out in front of the house. All right, it's been a while, but I did do a video tour of this lot before my clients purchased it. And uh, I'm happy they did. This is a beautiful lot. Gorgeous oak tree right up front. And talking to my client, he was like, wow, I can't believe we've gotten this far. And it all started with them reaching out to me to have them help find a lot. I really like this community of Cordillera Ranch. I've done a motorcycle tour of it. This is probably the one of the most exclusive communities in the Texas Hill Country. You're just outside, you're a short drive to downtown Bernie, Texas. Very, very low tax rate. The amenities in this community are phenomenal. Uh, very cool clubhouse. They do have a golf course, but that's a different membership fee to have the golf course and they're kind of filled up. But uh, nice restaurant. They've got a ski shooting range, horse stables, some beautiful pools. And they also have their own private access to the Guadalupe River, which how many communities have that? I mean, it's super cool. But uh, the house here's, uh, we're, they're closing on it today. Beautiful home. 50 square feet and like I mentioned in my intro that it's loosely based on the model home but they've uh, kind of extended the mother-in-law suite that they were building into it and I'm excited to see what landscaping they're putting in here but wow they really really went above and beyond with this house it's got three car garage a big three car garage but uh, yeah this is a super cool home let's go on inside and show you more about it of course, I want you to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and all that good stuff. But I do like this beautiful black metal roof, the black trim on these windows. And uh, yeah, this house is really amazing. All right, coming in, big, big French doors. Cute little brick foyer coming in. But yeah, check out the height you have. Uh, this A-frame up here is just gorgeous. They did push they modified this house a little bit from the model. They pushed this back about 13 feet because they wanted to maximize the use of space. But talk about space. There is tons of it. Got the formal dining room space right there. Big, big, beautiful kitchen. Let's go check that out. Um, there was a short delay for getting the kitchen finished because they went with Michael Edwards cabinets. A lot of the luxury home builders in this area use them because they are phenomenal and they went very unique with their cabinet trim and it sh definitely shows. We got Gen Air appliances. We've got the uh, very nice ovens and microwave convection. Well, that's regular convection. But yeah, beautiful Gen Air appliances. Love the six uh, cooktop burner with a little griddle, under mount lighting, and of course, with uh, Keith Edwards, you've got the uh, soft closed cabinets. Um, this countertop is very unique. This is a quartz with a suede finish. And it's just really soft and muted and I absolutely love it. But yeah, really nice uh, kitchen. And as you can see, they are not gonna run out of cabinet space. Even a little neat little spot there in the corner. Nice. Granite composite sink. This is not a 50-50 sink. I'd probably put it like a 60-40, but you could put a skillet in there. 
So that's really cool. And yes, there is a pool out there. We're gonna get that in just a second. But one of the big things I wanna show off is this pantry. Check this out. We do have our wine chiller, more wine storage, but you are, I challenge these guys to be able to fill this up because this is a big, big pantry. Of course, they got a little quartz countertop in there as well. It's also unique if uh, I really like a little ice tray because yeah, if you're doing hosting parties, you don't want to use up all the ice in the refrigerator. All right, let's go and head outside because I want to show off this beautiful entertainment space. All right, let's head outside because the outdoor entertainment space in this house is absolutely phenomenal. Lots and lots of space if you want to hang out in the shade. Love the covering they put up there. Now remember, this whole wall opens up really bringing the outside in or the inside out. Have everyone look at it. Love, they went, they went really high end on this uh, grill and the outdoor cooking space. But this pool, this pool is all done by Keith Zars. They are a very reputable, big name pool company in this area. And let me tell you, my guys, uh, my clients, they went uh, a little crazy, but hey, they got what they want. Another feature, typically in the hill country, you're never gonna find a perfectly flat lot. So I love what they did is having some steps coming down off the back, because if you look down, that, that's pretty good ways down to the ground there. But by having a different level coming down these steps to the pool area, it really makes that less of a dramatic drop off. But yeah, beautiful pool, like I said, done by Keith Zars. They've integrated the hot tub. We got the Keith Zars guys here, but also pointing out that there's a drain thing. So you're not gonna have like water pooling up here on the concrete as well. All right, and awesome drain, I mean, uh, lighting out here. So if you're at a night, that's all you really need. But yeah, we got Keith Zars out. They're putting their final touches on this pool. And uh, yeah, this is just about two and a half acres of the beautiful Texas Hill Country. And you can see there is still a little bit of a drop off. They are gonna be doing some outstanding landscaping. I'm looking forward to seeing that completed. But yeah, beautiful pool and a little pavilion set up there. And I joke, was like, yeah, that's where the band goes when the band's playing. And you get this really neat little built-in fire pit section. So, um, yeah, you can just kind of sit here. Let me go ahead and sit down and show you what it looks like. Sit here, enjoy the fire, the view of the beautiful house. And then, of course, you've got this beautiful Texas Hill Country area in Cordillera Ranch. So I'm super excited. Uh, they have invited me to come over for a big party once they get all everything furnished. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. But this is really neat having a different sitting space area. The lights, big old fan here, and being able to see the pool. And this is gonna be a really cool entertainment area. All right, let's head on back inside. Yeah. This is all gonna get filled in, don't worry. But yeah, this is super cool. Let's head on back in and we can continue to tour the rest of the house. All right, going back in. The master bedroom is all in this whole wing back here. We're gonna save that for last, so don't click off the video tour just yet. But we're gonna go off into the secondary bedrooms. I love how this fireplace goes all the way up and you got your big ass fan, beautiful. All right, let's go check out this wing of the house. And like I mentioned while we're outside, these doors do open all the way up. We're gonna start at this far corner. Got some beautiful wood trim work. And one thing I really like about this house is so many access points to the outside entertainment area. But we're gonna start off with this room. Uh, if you notice on the fireplace, that mantle is a little high. You don't want to spend, watch all of your TV from there. So they built this custom cabinetry setup for the TV in this room. So 
the, uh, they can watch the football games or do whatever they want to do in here as loud as possible. Another nice view of the hill country. But we already have the speakers wired in. This is going to be a really cool place just to kind of come chill, relax, watch movies or football. All right. Because we got the pool out there, you need a little wet space for people to change. And a really nice countertop here. But yeah, check out this shower. It's kind of a glassy uh, tile work that looks like brick. Of course, they took it all the way to the top. And I love the flooring they put in there. Just a beautiful shower. Of course, they got eight foot doors throughout. Beautiful flooring. But let's check out this wing. And it just, I'm, if I had taller roofs in my house, I would put these uh, wood beams in it in the hallway just because it looks so cool. But you've got secondary bedrooms with kind of a little built in office space here. Nice windows and uh, good sized closets as well. It can be a little Jack and Jill bathroom setup. But check the sink out. I've actually never seen a dual vanity with a sink set up like this, where it just kind of curves down. It's all one sink, but two faucets. Very coolly, very, I don't, is that even a word, coolly? Very nicely done. Plenty of space in the water closet. And once again, another nice shower with a step. And of course they took the tile all the way to the top. And like I said, here's the other bedroom. That is the jack to the other bedrooms, Jill. And once again, another nice size closet, plenty of space in there. All right, so now we're a little further down the hallway. Um, this is something else that's different than they did in the model home. This door would be pushed much further up, but because they're gonna have uh, like their mother-in-law living with them, they wanted them to have their own wing and they really do with a private entrance. So let's start by showing a little private entrance area coming up. So she'll be able to come in her own little private door, not bother the rest of the family and have this awesome living space right here with the wood beam, gorgeous fan. So this is like be the living room slash kitchen area. And yeah, they move with a nice quartz countertop for the kitchen area. Small microwave, small refrigerator, but tons and tons of storage space. So it's really neat that they were able to do this. And coming in, we've got a nice wide door leading into the bathroom, toilet, and uh, her own sink. Really super cool mirror there. But check this out. When I first saw this, I'm thinking, oh, they got a sauna in there? No, this is not the sauna. This is just a regular shower, but the wood, this isn't wood at all. It's a uh, stone, but it looks like wood and uh, absolutely gorgeous. Of course, you gotta have a step in there and beautiful tile. And then this would be her bedroom slash office space. Once again, more built-ins, lots of window lighting, looking out in beautiful Texas Hill Country, and a walk-in closet. So yeah, if you're needing to house someone and don't wanna put them up in the assisted living space, you can have all the freedom and this can be a nice little office space right there and have her mom live with them as well and have their own sense of privacy because you got your whole little wing to yourself back here. All right, and then you kind of turn this corner and I'm always like, boom, wow, that's awesome. Just turn around this corner to this really big, awesome space. All right, now we're gonna head over to the master bedroom wing of the house, or the owner suite wing. Love that, bat, that uh, kitchen there. So this is where you're gonna be coming in from your three car garage. Gotta show that off because it's actually a little bigger than a three car garage because they've got 
their own private a door there so you don't have to open the garage doors three bays even more stand and knockout and Casa Domain does a really good job finishing out their garages uh, already have the water softener in two water heaters they're never gonna run out of hot water but yeah you got a little mud room space if you want to put your shoes in case it get a little muddy and your laundry room this is really nice that they've got these little trays thing there so if you want to separate your whites from colors plenty of ways to do that they got a sink love the herringbone tile on the floor already got the washer and dryer set up and cabinet space and yet another refrigerator so if the refrigerator and the master and meaning the kitchen wasn't big enough you got your little emergency bed kitchen <sighs> Can't talk some more, how so big I've been saying too many words. Uh, your emergency refrigerator set up. All right, let's go check out the owner's suite. Love this uh, wood, uh, really kind of modern barn door look. That is super cool coming into the bathroom. And then just this bathroom as a whole is really nice. Beautiful view looking out the window. Once again, a his and her vanity. And a giant shower. I would say giant, giant, but a very large shower. And I do like the fact that they got the spigots on one side, so you can make sure you kind of reach in, check your water's the right temperature before you jump in. But this is so cool that they went with the little golden trim and just took it all, took the tile all the way to the top. So really beautiful shower. A seriously deep soaking tub. Once again, the same fixtures and kept the tile work going all the way to the ceiling. And once again, a really large water closet set up to where you're not gonna feel crowded. But here's one of my favorite features, the sneaky need of having, uh, well, here's a master bedroom closet. I wanna show that in a second because it goes on for a while, but having that sneaky need of having access from your master bedroom closet to the laundry room, and yes, Casa Domain put the little lock on there just in case you wanted to make sure you had a little privacy. But what the room we're in now is actually the master bedroom closet, and it is huge. I love it. This is big, so you got plenty of place for your boots and shoes, more racks for your longer stuff, and it just kind of keeps going on oh, and back here a ways as well more shoe racks or boot racks however you want to look at it but yeah this is a really big closet i love it and that'd be your like little linen closet there so super cool and now we're gonna head on into the bedroom section once again with that we went with the air a frame theme for the uh, master bedroom. Lots and lots of space. Of course, I carry the same wood in through the master bedroom. You've got your makeup vanity or war paint station so you can get ready and you don't have to go all the way into the bathroom, uh, but they kept that in here. And like I mentioned before, every time you turn around, you've got more access out to the back patio area. So if you wake up, if I unlocked it, and what got your coffee ready in the bathroom you can kind of come out here and just relax and enjoy the early mornings and have access to really everything so really super cool design how they did it uh another thing about casa domain they overdo it as far as engineering and insulation they use the zip system they use spray foam insulation and they go nuts with that spray foam insulation, especially in the attic. Uh, big homes like this, uh, it would normally cost a lot to heat and cool, but because they, they essentially turn into an igloo. So you don't have to worry about super high electric bills. But wow, I do love this house and how it turned out, especially this kitchen and the outdoor living space. And I'm excited for them being able to have their uh, uh, guests stay there and have their own suite. 
All right, that's gonna do it for the tour of this beautiful custom home built by Casa de Maine in the Cordillera Ranch community in Bernie, Texas. Uh, another pro tip, if you're considering this community, not every builder is allowed to build in Cordillera Ranch. So make sure your builder's on their list. Of course, Costa Domain is. And uh, also, if you like this video, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, if you know someone considering moving to the Texas Hill Country area and looking for a real estate agent to help them out, I'll be happy to do so. I'm gonna put a link to my Calendly app in the description box. Click that, schedule a Zoom meeting with me or a phone call. I'll be happy to help. All right, take care for now. Bye.